what's amazing about slam dance is that sense of community and sort of filmmakers getting their first first glimpse into what the the world of indie film is like i find i find the environment that you guys create to be very supportive so how have you continued to do that after 25 years yeah well firstly through naivety you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know if we if we'd known you know if we'd known then what we know now i mean i don't know whether slam dance actually would still be around but you know just going back to um you know the first year and you can kind of see the see this as part one of slam dance and, um, you know, a wild bunch of filmmakers who didn't get their films into Sundance decided to come together instead of walking away into the sunset and to support one another. Um, clueless in many respects, but also very passionate about what they wanted to do with their films. And then also the similar goal of wanting a showcase and realizing that if you came together to support one another, you could get more out of something than if you just did it by yourself as an individual. Is there a way to kind of crystallize from your perspective, Peter, you're a filmmaker yourself, you've been doing slam dance for, for God, since the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I mean, I know your role has evolved and, and even slam dance in terms of the various programs it's done. What, what is the one thing you would tell a filmmaker entering this space, whether it's about making films or promoting them or what, what, would, what would you tell them? Never compromise. You, you, you may be struggling with a, a vision, a story that you have and thinking, well, this is no good. I, I, I thought yesterday this is a great idea and now I think it's a terrible idea. But don't compromise with that original idea that you had. And though it may not work out the first time or the second time and, and, and though it may, you may think that it, it, you, you, you failed at it, embrace that failure and learn to improve and to craft um, that so that it becomes better the next time. And when you do that, that's when you begin to create unique work. That's when you begin to shine. And I think that over the years at Slam Dance, those filmmakers that end up doing the best are those filmmakers that have not compromised. They have followed their own vision. And it doesn't come easily. It doesn't come overnight. It takes time. It takes nurturing. And therefore, it's really important to be open then to um, other filmmakers who are critiquing your work and to take that on, but also at the same time, stay true to your own vision. So never compromise. Mm -hmm.